Hello and welcome back virtual pilots to another 10 shadow video. Today we are in lesson five in the IFR series from FS Academy. We are going to be learning holds today in our trusty Cessna 172. Looks like we're in the G1000 version. Uh, I've not done any holds before in uh, any GA aircraft. So this one, like most of everyone we've flown so far should be interesting. So let's get in there. Sometimes we need to wait for our turn to land at a busy airport or to commence an instrument approach. We have to arrive at the beacon aligned within 30 degrees of the procedure's outbound leg. Otherwise, we have to complete a holding pattern first. Intercept and fly the 030 course to Southampton. A hold is made of two courses, an inbound and an outbound, plus two 180 turns usually to the right. Left hand holds also exist, but today we'll look at a right hand hold. Let's go ahead and get lined up. A hold consists of reaching the VOR or NDB, turning right to the outbound leg, fly for one minute and then turn right to the beacon again. The technique used to enter the hold depends on the direction from which we arrive. Got to trim this puppy out. Imagining the inbound leg is pointing upwards. If we arrive at the hold from straight in or anywhere near the bottom left, we simply fly to the beacon and make our right turn into the outbound leg. Looking at the VOR approach chart for Southampton, we see that the inbound holding course is 030. We're currently on a heading to intercept the 030 radial inbound to Southampton VOR. As we're approaching already aligned with the holding course, we make a direct entry. If it isn't already displayed, use the PFD button to display NAV1 on bearing 1, which will give you the SAM VOR needle and the DME distance to go. We'll start with a direct entry and complete a lap of the hold. Okay. To fly the outbound leg of a hold, we need to account for wind drift. If the wind is coming from the holding side, from the right in this example, we would apply triple the drift to the outbound leg. If there's a crosswind of 10 knots and we're flying at 60 knots, it would make us drift downwind by 10 degrees. The faster you go, the less drift angle you get. The same 10 knot crosswind at 120 knot would only give us 5 degrees of drift. If the wind is coming from the non-holding side, the left side in this example, we apply double the drift. We are flying at around 120 knots. We are. A light 5 knot wind from the west means we'll apply 5 degrees of I'll drift go faster. to our 210 outbound leg, meaning our outbound heading will be heading 215. We're now reaching the Southampton VOR. Make a right hand turn to your outbound heading of 215. 215 it is. I am going to go down just a little bit to get us back to 3,000 feet. All right, there we go. Continuing the turn. Nope, you're not going back up. When you've completed your turn, start timing for one minute. You can use the inbuilt timer or look at the clock at the bottom right of the PFD. After one minute has elapsed, turn right again onto the inbound course back towards the VOR. Now okay. we're established on 215, let's start timing for one minute. It's one minute. Turn right onto the inbound course 030. Good, that's a direct entry completed. Leave the VOR on heading of north. You can keep the 
the CTI set to course 030 throughout this mission. As we fly north, we'll discuss the teardrop entry. So if we approach a hold from the top left of the inbound course, we fly to the beacon and then turn to a course of the outbound leg minus 30 degrees. We continue on this course for one minute, then turn right to the beacon. This is a teardrop entry. OK, now please make a left-hand turn back to Southampton VOR. Just follow the bearing one needle to track directly to the beacon. OK, will do. The outbound leg of our hold is 210. So 210 minus 30 is 180. So we'll leave the VOR on heading 180 for one minute. All right, I missed that. 180, got it. We're arriving at Southampton VOR. Fly heading of 180 for one minute. Oh, okay, I guess I shouldn't have, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe nothing. I just assumed the counter is supposed to start. So we got about 40 seconds left. Getting kind of close to the time. Uh, say That's about... one minute. Oh, Make okay. your right hand turn to zero three zero to intercept towards Southampton. Here we are reaching Southampton VOR again, completing our teardrop entry. This time leave Southampton on a heading of zero six zero. Okay, zero six zero, which is right there. We'll sink our heading. Flying away from Southampton VOR on the heading 060 to set us up for our third and final type of entry. Okay. The parallel entry. If arriving from the top right of the inbound course, we fly to the beacon as usual, then turn left to parallel the outbound leg for one minute. After one minute, we turn left again towards the inbound course, which we will overshoot and intercept from the other side. I think I got what he said. Okay, now make a right hand turn back to Southampton VOR and set us up for a parallel entry. All right, making our right hand turn right now. established directly towards Southampton VOR using the bearing needle. You can still keep the course of 030 set on the CDI. Yes, we'll use that blue needle. I assume that's what you want me to do. I think I get it now, maybe. I didn't get that the last time. And 
and there's the bearing needle. Okay, uh, straighten out. All right. So yes, it looks like according to the other screen, we're heading towards the Sam BOR. And then I think once we get to it, we'll make a left for one minute, I believe. All right. I think I got it, sort of. We're reaching the VOR. Make a left turn now to heading of 210 for one minute. 210. 24 seconds after. Once you're rolled out on heading 210, start timing for one minute. Then okay. make your left turn to intercept the 030 radial to Southampton. So that might have been like 47 seconds? Something like that? Makes sense not to start your timer until you're rolled out on heading. Okay. Getting close, folks, getting close. It's a cloudy day here today, isn't it? About another 15, 17 seconds, somewhere around there. So make a long left-hand turn all the way round to intercept the course of 030 to Southampton VOR. All right. You certainly overshoot the course, so intercept from the other side. Turning around, getting there. Nope, nope, we don't want to race. Go down. Keep going. All right. Straighten out. We'll push the button. Get us, uh, Okay, I think we're good. We'll see. Not quite on on that. Let me push the button again. Okay. Yeah, we're heading right right towards Sam right now. Oops. Man, I'm talking about like my arms are hurting, my shoulders sitting here holding this thing. Big difference from uh just clicking that uh, autopilot on button. All right. Nope. So 0.9 nautical miles. We're, uh, I think we're getting closer. It's getting a little off. Yeah, it is. So we're so close. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chase it. Excellent. That's the yes. lesson the holding patterns complete. Continue to fly if you wish or press escape to exit. All right. So I started off pretty bad, just uh, trying to get the aircraft trimmed and have all that stuff. But I think, you know, about this third one, I kinda, it kind of clicked on me what exactly we were doing. And again, I didn't want to redo this whole video and, you know, do it better because I want to see how, how it is. So 
But anyways, thanks uh, so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.